So here we are back again with another Platinum Trophy. A slightly different one here as the whole game only took two hours. How many games can you say that about without disclosing you've actually played some shovelware? Remedies for the common folk. And that brings us the Platinum Trophy, guys. Sanctuary. We're here getting the Platinum Trophy for the PS3 game of Megamind Ultimate Showdown. Megamind is a ridiculously easy but genuinely fun game that I've been staring at for a while now. So JC and I decided let's step in two controllers and do this game in co-op. This game is set after the movie. For all you out there that enjoy Will Ferrell as a big blue-headed reformed supervillain, the trophy list for this game is extremely simple. Play through all story missions, unlock hidden mini games, collect big blue orbs known as Binky, and don't die to the bosses during those particular encounters. Thanks to our NC Collective for the continued support, we appreciate it greatly. Now let's head back 13 years ago to 2010 when this game launched. To start the game we have a home base which also has a trophy for collecting Binky in this area. It respawns after every level. From the base we can see collectibles, select levels and upgrade our weapons. There are no trophies tied to upgrades though. The first level is more or less a glorified tutorial. We're in the museum platforming around and we managed to collect a thousand Binky in the first level to get the assistant collector trophy. It's extremely easy to collect this stuff in all levels as it drops from enemies and every object you destroy. We complete our first mission without dying for the Mega Skill Trophy and Museum Master for, you guessed it, the Museum Level. The second level hands us a taste of the new weapon, Power Glove, zapping enemies so much faster than we could before. We collect 2,000 Binky in a single level for the Collector Trophy and 3,000 Binky shortly after for the Mega Collector Trophy. As I said, super easy. This game does a really good job of creating fun from nothing. Literally bouncing around the area, blowing up cars will entertain me for hours. Well, JC and I did this in co-op, so entertain us for hours. We complete the level Downtown Domination and get the trophy Pod Race for unlocking the Pod Race mini game. We then come to our first boss in the game, Destruction Worker. As I mentioned at the start, we must defeat each boss without dying to earn extra trophies for the levels. Moving away from this crane ball as it slams to the ground allows us to put a big pile of explosives where the destruction worker stands. Like most older games, three different times I needed to take out a big boss, like Mario games. Once we blow up the bastard for good, we get the destruction derby trophy for avoiding death. And then the destruction doom trophy for completing the demolition site level. And while we're back in the lair, we decide to clean up the binky. Enough to earn the trophy anyway, lair cleanup. Our next level was the underground. Jumping around like a show pony spamming the trigger, we shoot all the enemies that seem to be infinitely spawning. We head down into the sewer and use pianos to take us across the dirty water. Yes, you heard that right, <laughs> pianos. Completing the level and getting the tickets please. Tickets please. For finishing the underground level, along with the Mega Ball trophy for unlocking the Mega Ball mini game. We continue down for more of the same in the sewers, blasting angry violent members of Call and the gang who mean to do us harm. After a while of shooting, we're awarded the end of level trophy, Funky Fumes. And don't forget, another minigame one of Rampage. But hey, on to another boss fight, this time with the funky Psychedelic. I, I see what you did there. We're trying to avoid specific highlighted dance tiles and do our best John Travolta impression whilst trying to press buttons that shoot hazardous fumes at Mr. Delic. After a few button presses, Psychedelic then loses his boogie. We get the Funky Disco Trophy for completing the level and Psychotic Win Trophy for not dying. We've gone from attacking Call on the gang to now Cyberpunk wannabes. Although this game was made a long time ago, so maybe Cyberpunk copied Megamind hooligans, who knows. We push big billboards over to parkour and vanquish even more Cyberpunk pink haired losers to finish this level with the Uptown Hero Trophy. And don't forget Mega Blast for the Mega Blast minigame. We stick to near enough the same layout, jumping across multiple car parks as well as destroying those snotty little punks. Here we claim our next story trophy of Hot Pavement and Sticky Boots for, I believe, the final minigame. Once dealt with all those pesky troublemakers, we move on to our third boss fight, Hot Flash. Hot Flash throws giant fireballs constantly at you like she's Super Mario, and her final attack of each phase is a wave of fire where there just happens to be three very well-placed fire hydrants. Coincidence? I don't think so. We can use these to stop that blast. Once again, we use the series of flea to stop Hot Flash in her tracks, and we're awarded with a further two trophies. Flash in the pan for defeating Hot Flash without dying, and Hot Flash Fizzle for finishing the level of the Parklands. But alas, we move on to our final level of this short and extremely satisfying game. 
This level is a titanic battle between Megamind and the Blue Titan. Beating this final boss without dying still applies, but the fight is three times as long as normal. Made so much easier though with JC and Carl, we use our modded spam fingers to destroy that shoot button. We shoot all the pillars that the Titan wants to throw and simply shoot him in his ugly muck. We unlock the trophy Titanic Battle for finishing the level without dying, along with Tame Blue Titan for completing the level. And finally, the trophy for finishing the game, which of course is our final trophy and therefore our platinum trophy. Now this was a brilliant game, super fun, and if anyone has this on their PlayStation 3 or are addicted to platinuming old games in general, go grab it, go buy it, it is wicked, and it's also really good in co-op. Thank you all so much for watching, thanks to the NC Collective again, and make sure to check out further videos like the ones you see on screen now, and until next time, cheers.